In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the isometric view of the pentagonal pyramid and the base edge is 25 mm and the height of the pyramid is 60 mm. So you can see that this is a pentagonal pyramid and this is 25 mm base edge and this is a nomenclature and this is a vertex which has O. Okay. So first of all, we have to make the orthographic view of this pyramid from the top side. So this is a top view of the pentagonal pyramid okay only the base i'll make only the base okay so now this is the nomenclature of my base and this is the dimension of my pentagon okay so to start making the isometric view of this pyramid we have to follow some method and the name of that method is box method okay what box method says that you have to put your solid in this case it is pentagonal pyramid in between the box like this okay so you can see that this is a box pqrs is the base and wxyz is the top of the box and you put your pyramid exactly in between that box so this is called box method okay so whenever you put your solid in between the box and make box first in the isometric view then put the uh, solid in between that so we can say that that method is known as box method first of all you have to make the orthographic view of this box method from the top side so you can see that this is a top view of the pentagonal pyramid now i'll make the top view of my box or you can say that this figure top view okay so i'll extending this line i'll this is a line which is pq okay and this is a again line so this is a completion of my rectangle because from the top view you will see this rectangle only okay so this is a pqrs okay so you can say that this is the base of the box so now i'll take the dimensions of this one so this is a 40.5 this is 38.5 and i'll take this dimension as well and i also take this dimension so now I'm going to start my coaster exactly as an isometric view. So you have to make the isometric view of box first. Okay. So make a reference line over here. This can be any line. So take a point P over here. So this point P is coming over here. Now I'll make a line PS which has a dimension of 40.5 according to this rectangle exactly at an angle of 30 degree. In the same way, I'll make this line pq exactly at an angle of 30 degree because you know that in the isometric view we always take angle at an angle of 30 degree so now i'll complete my base that is pqrs in this way so you can see that this is sr is exactly parallel to pq and qr is exactly parallel to ps so after the completion of this rectangle now i'm going to make this pentagon exactly in between this rectangle so you know that the distance from p2 so this p2 is 7.7 .7. so i take a compass and open my compass of 7.7 .7 and put steel part of the compass on p and make an arc like this on ps line i have point 2 so i open my compass 7.7 .7 and put steel part over here and mark a arc over here and this point becomes 2 in the same way i'll take a s1 this s1 distance and this s1 distance also equal to p2 distance because it is a regular pentagon in between the rectangle so whatever the p2 is that is exactly s1 so this is again 7.7 .7. so in the same way i am going to locate all the points so you can see that this is p3 which is 23.8 using compass put steel part over here and pencil over here and make an arc so this becomes 3 in the same way this is s5 and you know that this 4 is exactly at the midpoint of rq so there is no need to open the compass just this point is a midpoint i'll take this as a four okay now i'm going to join this one so this is one two 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 three three four and four two five and five two one so this is my base now i'm going to take the heights so whatever the height of the solid is that is the height of the box so pw this is a pw and in the same way this is qx 
and this is SZ. Now I'm going to join these. So by completion of this one, you can see that this is a W, X, Y, Z. This is my top of the box. Okay. Now I'm going to find out the center of this top. So you can see that this is the center lines and this is a midpoint of the W, X and this is a midpoint of Z, Y. I'll join this one. Exactly. This is a midpoint of Z, W and this is a midpoint of X, Y. So I'll join this one. So these are the midpoints and wherever these Midpoint lines meet or center line meets that is exactly center of your this W X Y Z phase. Okay, now this is a point which shows the apex O. Okay, so this is the apex. Uh, now I'm going to join this apex with all the corners of the pentagonal pyramid like this. This is 0 to 2. Now this is 0 to 1 so this is 0 to 5 and this represents your hidden line because you can see that the 5 is hidden over here so this is a hidden line in the same way 4 to O and this is a 3 to O so it represents the isometric view of the pentagonal pyramid whose edge base is 25 mm and height of the solid is 60 mm and the you the method we use to make this isometric view is known as box method why it is called box method because we have to use some box in between that box we put our solid so that we have to rotate our box first at an angle of 30 degree then we put our solid in between so that's why it is called box method okay i hope you understand this question thank you everyone